Hello, Monica, how are you? Monica, Jose, how are you guys? How was your day today? Very tired, but I am happy because tomorrow I am free. Hey, that's good, right? Yes. Tomorrow, no work. Tomorrow, no work. Until some, until Monday. Mm -hmm. It's it's nice three three days. It's almost like a little vacation. Yeah, something something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what is your plan for tomorrow? I sleep all day. What? What is what is the plan for tomorrow? I sleep all day. Okay. And you, Monica? Go ahead, Monica. What is your plan for tomorrow? And um, I not have a plan for tomorrow. Uh, at least my plan. In, in, in house, uh, I visit my father uh, uh, next week. Oh, okay, okay. So tomorrow is for you to stay home and relax. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Relaxing cat in the house. <laughs> okay, good. Stephanie, how about you? How are you? Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? Well, I don't have any idea, but mm -hmm. only uh, I I will go to work. Only. Uh -huh. Only you that. To, you have to go to work tomorrow, Steph. Yes, teacher. Mm. It's badly. <laughs> yeah, I think only you tomorrow. <laughs> what? Only you are going to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> really? <laughs> From the class, yes, I think. Mm. It, where do you work, Stephanie? I work in one uh, restaurant. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that's why. Just because all the restaurants... Have, tomorrow is the busy day. Yes, for that. Tomorrow is a lot of money. Not like Mother's Day, because Mother's Day is more. But tomorrow is still is very busy for many people, too. Yes, it's very busy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what time do you work, Stacy? Stephanie, what time do you work? Sorry. What? What time do you go to work? Uh, um, 20, um, five with uh, 30 minutes. At 5.30? Uh, 30 minutes. No, no, no. 5.30? What? Five thirty. Five thirty. Uh huh. Okay. Five thirty. Uh, to four four p.m. Very early. Very early. Yes. 
Mm, for only, breakfast. only a breakfast and and lunch. Ah, okay. Yes. No dinner. No dinner. Okay. Uh, but it's good because then at night you relax. Yes. Mm -hmm. So so. Yeah. But I I am very tired. Okay. And, yes. Mm. Okay. Well, in this moment, we are going to make small groups, only five minutes, and we want to talk about your day, your job. What do you normally do? Okay. So remember, only five minutes with your partner. How was your day? What did you do? Where did you go? What did you, what is that daily routines and the activities? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's go. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A, listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. Might check that one out. Ooh. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds Hello. like fun. I like traveling I put and you I've in never a been on panel. a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Five, 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 five. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Hey, Wendy. Let me put you into the group. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Karen.
Okay, so now we talked a little bit about uh, your day with your partner. You have some of the things that we talked about, the common activities. Any questions, words that you don't know how to say in English? Teacher. Yes. How do you say huevos revueltos? <laughs> Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Hang on, I put. Teacher. Yes. How do you say nieta? Uh, niece. Niece. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. I have a niece. <laughs> hey, congratulations, yeah. Ronnie. How old is your niece? Two, two years. Two, oh, okay. two, old, two, old. Yes. two months. Ah, uh, it's a baby. Oh. No, two, two years old. Yeah, eh? two years old. Okay. Two years old. Yes, it's, it's very, it's very. How is it? Terrible. Tremenda, come on. Ah, very. Uh, uh, maybe not, not like in the same way because in English it's different. Bad behaved or behaved ah. badly. Mm -hmm. ah. Yeah. Uh, there's a yeah, square, 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 earthquake. Uh -huh. My niece is earthquake. <laughs> 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 my, my niece is a tornado. <laughs> tornado, yeah, 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 like a tornado. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. How, how do you pronounce that, the, this, the last word in the chat? Uh, the tremenda. Mischievous. mischievous mischievous okay correct like daniel in spanish we have daniel the mischievous ah uh, yeah okay mm -hmm. mischievous okay mm -hmm. all right yeah teacher, teacher i have a maybe i have some problem for my internet ah okay right it, it's a, a rainy tremendous uh, rainy uh, i don't know how you say como una tormenta Yes, a storm. Uh huh. Maybe, storm. maybe. I don't know. In English, when it's very, very hard, uh -huh. they put oh. it's raining cats and dogs. Uh, okay. It's raining cats and dogs. Okay. When mm -hmm. I have a, a, a my partner in a sala, mm -hmm. they have a problem for the internet. Okay, a storm. Okay, no problem. But in, in English, in English is cats and dogs. In El Salvador, I don't know, but my grandmother say, say uh, "mico y pericos." Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, I Mico never heard perico. "mico y pericos." I heard uh, "rana y sapos." I think was well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really, I know my grandmothers uh, say that, say say this uh, "mico y pericos." <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay, okay. This one is new for me, but okay. Good. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and continue. We are in unit five. Um, we are beginning 5.1. I need a job. I need a job. It's common, the topic. <laughs> so let's watch a little video with the topic, I need a job. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements, as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A, listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. 
I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Okay. Now he is calling. He is calling about the, to get more information about the job. Listen, what do they require? What are the things that are necessary to have this job? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh. We're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Uh, what is the other requirement? Uh, speak other language. Ah, uh, yes, speak another language. Now, it's like in English, right? Uh, now, when you look for a job, it's typical in many places. Ah, uh, you have to speak English. Yeah, I think that is a necessity. Is uh, how do you say necessity? Necessity. 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 Okay. Yes. Necessary yes. is for uh, necess like necessario. Correct. And necessary is for necessity. Nece necessity. Necessary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only the intonation is different. The spelling too. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, I, I, I guess that the that the English is uh, nece necessary. Necessity, yeah. uh huh. And the other one is necessary. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, I think in today in in the society today, English is is a necessity. Of all the jobs, all the jobs now. If you want good money, do you speak English? Do you speak English? So it's, it's good, it's, it's something that's very necessary, okay? In this moment, we're going to make the small groups and talk about your job. What do you need in your job? What are the requirements? Uh, do you, what do you think? If you look for another job, what job would you like to look for, okay? So in this moment, we're going to talk about your jobs, the requirements, and if you would like to change jobs, would you like to go to a different job, okay? okay. Teacher, like, what do you say? Like, like, uh, like, requirement. Requirement. What is requirement? Ah, requirement is. Uh -huh. Okay. Exactly. Is the obligation that the necessities for the job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So let's take a moment. Remember, you are going to talk about the requirements for your job and do you like? you don't like your job and would you like to change to another job what other job would you like to have
Ronnie, do you have problems? Ready to know about gerunds and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like hate, good at, as well as don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza, she hates cooking, they're good at writing poetry, or I don't mind listening to people's problem, he's not good at playing sports, you can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases ready to And teacher, how do you say uh, one week yes and one uh, week no? You say 
every other week. Every every other week. That that can uh, we can use that for days too, right? Correct. Or for months or years. Every mm -hmm. other. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. So, uh, were there any other words, vocabularies that you about your job profession? No, sure, it's, cor it's correct to say legal legal advisor. Legal? Legal advisor. Assessor legal. Yes. Correct, it's correct, legal advisor. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Good. Now, why it's important? Because many times when you meet someone, they're going to ask you, what do you do? Ah, and then when they ask you, what do you do? You need to describe your job, your profession, your responsibilities. So imagine I ask you, hey, what do you do? I work. No. I work in an office. No. You need to be able to describe, oh, I am a manager. I supervise. I, I work in a restaurant. I serve customers. You need to be able to describe the different responsibilities or the different uh, requirements of your job. It's okay. Teacher, uh, yes, yes I am a, a accounting assistant. Correct. Yes, Ronnie. Yeah, me. Yeah, I work in the accounting assistant. Correct. I am. I am an. I am. I am. Uh -huh. I am an accounting assistant. Correct. Yeah, I work in the. How do you say no bank? No que financiera. Finance. Finance. Okay. We, I work the Bolsa de Valores. Uh, in the stock market. Uh -huh. uh huh. But right now I need the, the auxiliary, accounting auxiliary. Okay. Right That's now I, I need more people. Do you need more? Yeah, one more. Uh -huh. uh, you need to uh, study in the university. Maybe two years. And, and, so how do you say a uh, um, contabilidad? O sea, universidad. The contabilidad is accounting. Ah, accounting, but when you go to the university, you, uh, you, need a, you need a bachelor's degree. Yeah. A bachelor's degree. No experience, maybe two years or one year, the work and you need to experience in the country. Okay. Oh, well, that's good. But it's a good job. You have is different, is is different than the banks. Yeah, yeah, different. When I work in the maybe sell reportos. In the what? Report or they llama. Reports. Reports and act, acciones. Stocks. Titulos. Stocks. Titulos and valores. Titles. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But do you do you need uh, no menos de 10,000? Only in El Salvador. 10 miles. 10 mil dollars. 10,000. 10,000 for you need to, to, how do you say, uh, buy, comprar, buy. Buy, buy. correct, correct. Just yes, this is the problem for El Salvador because it's very high, the minimum. In the US, only you need $20. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, in Salvador, you need to, you need uh -huh. to have okay. 10,000. Yes, that's why it's more difficult to, in El Salvador to become rich. Yes. Because you need, you need a lot to start. Yeah, really. yes. In the other countries, you begin with a little and you... Yeah, a little, yeah. $100, dollars $50, $100, $200. Mm -hmm. Okay, but, well, great. Okay. Good thing it's important to practice describing about your job and your profession 
so that it's easy for you to, when you meet someone new, to talk about it. Today, we're going to be looking, the next topics are gerunds and short responses. The idea for today is how to express your opinion. For example, you like, you love, you enjoy, or maybe if you agree. For example, if Stephanie says, I, uh, my work is very interesting. Oh, and I agree. I think my work is very interesting also. I can agree with her and say, uh, so, so do I or others. So in this moment, let's watch the videos and get an idea of gerunds and how to agree with those different topics. Okay, so gerund, short responses, 5.3. To know about gerunds and short responses, follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like, hate, good at, as well as don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They are good at writing poetry. Or, I don't mind listening to people's problems. He's not good at playing sports. You can Okay. You see, all of these express your opinion. What you like, what you don't like, you hate, what they, you think. Um, for example, I don't mind. Okay. I, you can't stand. Okay. I don't mind that it, it's okay. It's not affect me positive or negative. Is I don't mind that I can't stand or the person, the expression can't stand is, I know this is very, very angry. I hate it is another way to say hate. Okay. That's why we use the gerunds to describe the different things. Can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither to agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither, we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject or noun or pronoun after the verb. Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement, we agree by using so plus auxiliary plus subject and when we have a negative statement, we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying, so do I. Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying, neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. 
We will share them with you so you may practice. Okay. Here it's important that you look because all of these, these express your opinion. For example, you or your actions. For example, you forget, you prefer, you deny. But after this, the verb is going to be with ing. I forget turning off the lights. Okay. I deny accepting money. I avoid trying to begin uh, new or new projects. So all of these words begin with the gerund. Okay. So after these, we use ing. Do you understand all the vocabulary there? Uh, I think is... Go ahead. I don't know. Thank you, Cesar. Teacher, I understand when you use uh, so do I and neither, but I don't know, I don't understand in in this part uh, uh, followed follow by gerundus. Okay, is this. So for example, when uh, you use like, hate, good at, you have to use the verb with ing. The expression don't mind, the expression can't stand, you have to use ing. And the same for these. For example, here in the ones that they gave us, and this is the same. If imagine I don't use don't mind, I use uh, avoid or advise. Uh, I advise getting the COVID vaccine, no, I advise to get. Okay, is I quit smoking cigarettes, no, I quit to smoke. So for all of those expressions, the same here we have to use the next word with ing is that okay 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 thanks yes teacher okay good this part is um it's very clear for me but i i don't understand well the the answer the 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 answer when you, you ask with with the the verb uh, plus gerunds. Okay. I don't because when you use so do I and neither do I, for example. So just the same here. I like traveling, so do I. I avoid traveling, so do I. I I can't stand traveling, so do I. The same for the expressions here. Uh, I, I, uh, I avoid traveling, so do I. Oh, is the same. All of these, I consider and, traveling. And when I, when I uh, for example, if the question is uh, in, in, in negative, but I, I, I am disagreement with that. I, I am, I'm going to answer with the, the 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 main verb right or the main auxiliary is in this case right uh no if you don't agree it's like this here are the expressions i don't i like it is not the same you use i'm not you can use uh, the auxiliary for in some or the antonym for example i hate ah uh, i don't agree i like okay i am not good at I don't agree. I am. To, you use two forms to agree in positive or negative, or a different, different expression to disagree. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I get now. Okay. So when we use any of these words, I prefer. Okay. For example, what do you prefer? Give me an action. You prefer watching tv or going to the gym i really like watch series okay use the word prefer okay i prefer uh, watching a series so do i okay if i don't like watching series i say oh i don't really i I I like it or or I make the opposite of what you say. 
For example, you say, I like watching series. Ah, really? I don't like it. I only use the expression to disagree. But with all of these words, the word is ing. The next word is with ing. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. With our partner, you are going to use five, five of these verbs to make a sentence with ing. You have these words, select five and practice like the examples. Here are the examples. Practice. So, for example, I tell my partner, imagine here. Okay. Uh, let me see. Imagine. Okay. Imagine uh, we're going to go with uh, Marielos. Imagine Marielos is my partner. And I tell Marielos, Marielos, I, I miss eating pupusas. Marielos, do you agree or disagree? Uh, can you repeat, please? Yes. Uh, I miss, which is the word from here. I miss right here. I miss eating pupusas. Um, so, so do I. Exactly. So do I. If, if you agree, if you have the same opinion, so do I. If you don't have the same opinion, you use this column. This column is for different opinion. Ah, uh, really? I don't. I don't like pupusas for breakfast. For example, okay. Can you say, can you say, I forgot working in today? Ah, so, so, yes, you can use, I forget work, working. Uh -huh. I, I, for, I forget, but only is, only you have to change for the past tense because uh -huh. you are talking about today. So, I forgot. Uh, I, I forgot. forgot. And then work. normally, Yes, normally is going to be, for example, I forgot uh, going to work. I forgot uh, turning off. I forgot, uh -huh. and then with ing. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. So in this moment, remember five verbs, five verbs with your partner, and your partner agree or disagree. So five, five with ing and my partner agree or disagree. Then my partner make five and I agree or disagree with my partner. So, so we ready? Yeah. Um, the verbs uh, or the words, uh, can you come um, share the screen please? Ah, okay, one more time. This. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, this is from 5.3. 5.3, you can also see. Okay, we're ready? Yes. Okay, good. Remember five and five, five and five. And then you agree or disagree with your partner. Ronnie, you have problems?
teacher, could you add me a, a, a group? Because yes, I, I was with Karen and Aldini. I don't know what uh, happened. Okay, I put you with Karen. Okay, any questions? How do you say madrugada, teacher? Madrugar. Madrugada. Uh, no. Madrugada, that is dawn. Mm, I don't know. Dawn. Dawn. Ah, okay, dawn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, like, oh. eh, me despierto en la madrugada. I wake up at dawn. I wake up at dawn. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. 
Okay. okay. Any other questions? Teacher, how do yes. you say extranjero? Foreigner. Foreigner. Thank you. The yeah, aliens teacher who are that who is alien. Aliens? Aliens. Aliens? Many people call aliens or uh, ET. But uh, uh -huh, is the name aliens. Alien. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yeah. The difference in the pronunciation uh, between down and amanecer o madrugar. Wake up early? No, you, you say, uh, usted dijo de que uh, madrugar era down, right? Uh, uh, no, uh, no, no, no. It is madrugar the action. I wake up at dawn. Ah, don, ok, de, de, la palabra don. Uh -huh. en, en la pronunciación, ¿cuál sería la diferencia con la palabra abajo, down? E, e, esa misma, da y da. Don, uh -huh. don and down. Ah, oh, ok. Uh -huh. Es una O y una A. Don yeah. and down. Yeah. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, teacher, excuse yes. me. Um, what app do you recommend to learn to pronounce? Uh, no app, but imitate. That is necessary. You listen and you copy the pronunciation for different places, videos or accents, but you need to imitate the different pronunciations. No repeat. Uh, excuse me, teacher. Uh, how do you say imitate? Imitate. What is, can you write? Imitate. Ah, imitate. Mm -hmm. Because many times the people repeat, mm -hmm. but no imitate. Uh, for example, they say, oh, uh, I don't know. I, I am so tired. And the people, I am so tired. I am so tired. But the people have with intonation. I am so, and you need to, to have good pronunciation, you have to imitate the person. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? No question. No? No, teacher. Thank you. All right. Good. Okay, perfect. So we we don't have time to do the next activity, but it's okay. Uh, we can do on Monday. On Monday, we're going to continue and we're going to review the gerunds and the using, how we use the gerunds on Monday. Okay. Remember, next week only we have four days, really three days to complete and then do the test. And the last day is Thursday. So next week, only four days. Okay. Okay, and now we, we have a few moments. Uh, the idea is, what are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, do you have to go to work? You don't have to go to work. I will study. Ah, you will. And me, I don't work. Me, I don't work. Oh, you don't work? It's, yeah, it's holiday. <laughs> Ah, nice, nice. Yeah, is yes. uh, tomorrow is uh, is Father's Day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sir, excuse me. Do you know when we start the next model? In the next in two weeks. Two weeks. Okay, yes. yes. No. Uh, the next so, weekend. You when mm -hmm. I finish the the next week, uh, you begin in the. Monday 27. Yeah, yes. Monday 27. Monday 27. Uh -huh. In Mo two weeks? No. Monday? I, re I received the courier. Monday that. 27. Yes. No, no descanso. No, no. But you continue. Uh huh. Yes. 
when I finish, I finish uh, June 23, yes? Yes, yes. and, and you finish next week. Yeah. Next and week the, you finish, the, and the week after, we have class. Yes. No, how do you say no? No descanso, no, no. Yes, no break. No break, continue. Uh -huh. I understand exactly that the finish the class next week uh -huh. and, the, and the week after it could continue the next module. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. I, I, I think, but you, with INSA Ford, you never know, maybe have one week uh, or two days because sometimes the class begin no Monday, begin Tuesday, for example, or Wednesday. But I received the one mail, 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 mail mm -hmm. and said that. Oh, okay. Maybe the yes, then. Maybe. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm waiting. <laughs> yes, we're waiting. We're waiting. I'm waiting, but I don't know what what to say. What to say that is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I hope tomorrow you enjoy your day. You have a time to relax for yeah. you with your family. And then I see you next week where we only have four classes. Okay. I'm going to go to Cerro Verde, he says. Well, hey, nice. it's nice. Yes. Nice, like, nice weather. I will, I, I go to restaurant de Tres Nidos. <laughs> okay. That sounds good. Yes, mm -hmm. maybe. Okay. Enjoy, enjoy your day. Thank you, teacher. You too, you, you are father? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you enjoy too. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Good night, okay, guys. Bye -bye. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.